years and uh, that process continues and uh, uh, very interesting the progress that some of our players have made um, the likes of Shane Clayton, Ross McGarry today, Ben Millis, young Ben Millis from Ballantyr uh, played very well today as well and uh, good news is we'll have uh, Jack McCaffrey and Paul Mannion rejoin the squad next year as well so um, that'll be a uh, great help to us in terms of the development and uh, continuous evolution of the team and the squad and of course we're, we're hoping before the championship ends that we'll have a sprinkling of one or two other new players to bring. Well, there we have it. Desi Farrell confirms that Paul Mannion and Jack McCaffrey are coming back into the Dublin Senior Football Squad for 2023. Christmas has come early. Christmas has come. Christmas mightn't be until December, but it has officially come for Dublin fans. Look, all true and be told, I definitely did not see this coming. I think for a lot of Dublin fans, they probably didn't really see this coming. You know, if you go back and watch Jack McCaffrey's interview on Off the Ball a couple of years ago, you know, he was saying, you'd have permission to shoot me. Not me, him. Uh, he'd have permission to shoot himself. If Although, maybe you want to shoot me as well. I don't know. But, um, you know, if it, but basically he was saying, you know, you'd have permission to, to shoot him if, you know, he was forced to, to rejoin the Dublin panel and clearly Paul Mannion as well. You know, it seems like he, he wants to play football anywhere but Dublin. You know, he's playing Chicago. He's, he's you know, put his heart and soul into Kilmock with Croaks, obviously, in the last couple of years as well, or the, or the last year or so. But he hasn't been available. He's made himself unavailable to the Dublin senior footballers. And, well, the news just broke there. And if you watch the intro to this video, to this live stream, you would have seen just how nonchalantly Desi Farrell, you know, how casually he just introduces that. You know, he's talking about potentially bringing in um, some players that played at the weekend and, and all of a sudden he just, you know, drops a, a bit of an absolute bombshell, really. The good news is we'll have Jack McCaffrey and Paul Mannion rejoining the squad next year. And I have to say, you know, it was definitely something I didn't see coming. You know, you've seen some some rumours earlier in the day, but then again, you know, you can't really take GA rumours seriously a lot of the time because, you know, there's been rumours before that Mannion was coming back, rumours before that McCaffrey was coming back. There was rumours not too long ago that Desi Farrell was getting the, the axe and, and he obviously ends up staying on. But well, here we have both of them rejoining the team for 2023. And look, I was obviously joking around a little bit earlier on Twitter saying, you know, and all Ireland is confirmed and everything else. I think there's still a lot of work to do for, for Dublin going into 2023. You know, there was defensive issues there. There were some players maybe who weren't playing to, to the standard we've seen over the last couple of years. You've got the right age profile for a lot of the side. Mannion, McCaffrey, still very young, still in their mid-20s. Um so the age profile is still good. There are maybe a few players who might be maybe getting on a bit. The likes of your James McCarthy's, your Dean Rocks, for example, who might potentially be um, getting on a little bit. But at the same time, the, the balance of the squad is very, very good. And, you know, with the addition of maybe, you know, two or three good club players who I've seen over the weekend, you know, there's plenty more talent in and around Dublin. Darren Mullins, a player I'd love to see come back in. I'd love to see Rory O'Carroll get 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 another shout. You know, he'd be another lad maybe who could come back in there. You know, and all of a sudden you look at the the potential Dublin starting 15 for next year, it looks considerably better. You know, you could have a full forward line of, you know, Mannion, Con O'Callaghan, Cormac Costello. Maybe you'd move Dean Rock into the half forward line or, or maybe push Paul Mannion into the half forward line. Or maybe Dean Rock gets, get, gets demoted to the bench. I really don't know. I think you do keep him in the team because of his, his free taking abilities. but. Paul Mannion, as we very well know, can certainly take a free or two himself. Um, so it just really does create more scope for, for Dublin going into 2023. And, you know, I think with those two players back in there, look, Dublin in the past have, have won all Orleans before when, when these haven't been in the team. You know, 2020, there was no Jack McCaffrey. Paul Mannion played very much a, a role coming off the bench. A lot of the time, he wasn't even a regular starter, which is probably one of the reasons why he left the team in the first place. You know, but obviously back then, you know, we didn't have to face Kerry in, in 2020. We didn't have to face Tyrone. Clearly, Mayo were an up-and-coming young team. And they've they've definitely improved in the last couple of years, in my opinion. So, you know, to get those two now in, going into 2022, you keep Con O'Callaghan fit. Um, you know, you, you get a bit of form back from, from Niall Scully, even in, in around the half-forward line as well. Kilkenny stays fit. I think Dublin have got a serious, serious chance. I really do. I think all of a sudden, with those two lads coming back in, it definitely does create more scope for, for Dublin going into, into 2023. And it certainly does give us 
a good chance at an All Ireland. Still would have Kerry as favourites. Make no mistake about that. And I still think, you know, even getting past the likes of Tyrone and Mayo, I think will 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 be a difficult task for Dublin next year. But it definitely does give Dublin a much much bigger chance going into twenty twenty three. Obviously, because you're look you're talking about two of the greatest Gaelic footballers of all time, in my opinion, and you know. Even having Jack McCaffrey back in the half back line playing at wing back, you know, you could probably push Owen Merchant back to cornerback if he's fit. You know, we've seen his defensive capabilities at the weekend, picking up Costello and also what he can do going forward as well. So just the balance of the team looks a lot better than what it looked last year. But in saying that, there is still a lot of work to be done. You know, I'm, I, I was joking earlier when I was saying all Ireland confirmed all the rest. You know, I do think there's still a lot of work to be done, to be fair. You know, there are still some defensive issues. The attitude seemed wrong at different stages last year, but getting them two back in there is uh, is absolutely crucial. Uh, plenty of comments coming in there, so much appreciate. Rory says, who would have thought that would have happened? Absolutely. And, um, you know, I was out and about, and I was just, you know, I heard some of the rumours were coming in, but I didn't really take them too seriously. And then all of a sudden on Twitter, you, you see Desi Farrell doing an interview after... Dublin club championship games, you know, very rare. You don't really see them normally just do casual interviews, you know, after some of the Dublin club championship games. You know, maybe after the final, he might do an interview, but you'd rarely see him just sort of pop up on an interview for Dublin GEA. Um, and it was kind of funny because even, you know, you have to watch the full video to hear him say that because he says it right at the end of the interview. And even Dublin GEA, who put out his interview on Twitter, didn't even mention at all that he had said this. You know, it was kind of just really sort of slipped under the radar. Um, you know, and I didn't get to watch the video when it first came out because I was out and about. But, you know, obviously you sort of get the news when you when you do actually go back and, and watch it. Um, Jack says changes the complexion a bit, maybe favourites, but I won't say definite favourites. Yeah, Kerry team still young, can improve, and Mayo too. And that's exactly the point. And, you know, Kerry are you know, still probably a bit younger than a lot of those Dublin lads and probably still have another gear to go up on to improve as well. But, you know, you think of a last year, that All-Ireland semi-final, Dublin didn't have Con O'Callaghan. They obviously didn't have Mannion or McCaffrey. All of a sudden, with those three back in, look, maybe Dublin wouldn't have beaten Kerry with those three players in there. You know, maybe Kerry would have come up with some plan to stop Con, to stop Mannion, to limit McCaffrey's influence going forward. Another thing we're pointing out is McCaffrey hasn't even played too much club football in the last couple of years because of the odd sort of injury or two. So, you know, it's going to take time for him to probably embed back in. He hasn't played into county football now since 2019, which isn't too long away, but it's going to be four years come 2023. So, you know, th there is that element of um, embedding him back in the side. But Division Two football next year, I think is the perfect time to do so, um, in, in my opinion. Uh, Dubs up there, of course, would love to see Dubs versus Kerry next year. Yeah, and I believe in the All-Ireland Senior Football Championship next year in the semi-finals, Dublin, Munster and Leinster are on separate um, sides of the draw, if that makes sense. So you could have a Dublin and Kerry final next year, which would be uh, which would be absolutely meltwatering as a as championship scores says here. Mick O'Galvin says it really is a fresh challenge for the two Two players, absolutely. And, um, you know, it's going to be absolutely crucial about Mannion and McCaffrey after 29, 30 years old. But being 30 isn't the, the same as it was years ago. Yeah, absolutely. Look, they're in, what, late 20s, early 30s. I think I said they were in their mid-20s earlier, but not them. But obviously, there's still a lot of the Dublin team that are still in there. Dublin uh, are still in their mid-20s as well. Lots of the Dublin players will be 29, 30 years. Seems they all want to finish with style. Look, I think... I think the big problem for Dublin maybe a few years ago as well, sort of going into 2021, was, you know, they really have nothing left to achieve here. They've won six All-Irelands in a row. You know, where's the motivation, especially with this being an amateur sport as well and the demands of inter-county football, you know, the motivation just probably wouldn't have been there. And that probably was why a lot of these lads, you know, opted out and, and sort of a few others retired and made themselves unavailable because, you know, it was just probably the motivation wasn't there, but having seen what happened to Dublin in 2021, this year as well, getting relegated, for example, losing to Kerry in that semi-final, seeing how good Kerry are, seeing the progress of Galway, Mayo, Tyrone over the last couple of seasons, there's a clear uh, hunger there, in my opinion, there's something to work towards, you know, 
Um, you know, first time Dublin went more than a year without an All Ireland since ninety five to twenty eleven, and uh, also on the anniversary as well of Dublin's twenty eleven All Ireland win. So it's not been a bad day for Dublin fans, shall we say? Um, but look, obviously the All Irelands will be won on the pitch, and there's a lot of work to do certainly for for Dublin next year. And I think with those two lads coming back in the team. You know, I don't think there can be any excuses now for Desi Farrell next year. I'm not expecting Dublin to win the All Ireland, but I think the performances definitely need to be a lot better. And I think we should be one of the closest challengers to Kerry if they are going to be the team to beat next year. So, yeah, huge, huge news, huge breaking news. Certainly wasn't expecting to be making a video on Sunday night, but uh, it is what it is, and it's absolutely brilliant from uh, from a Dublin perspective. So. Yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the like button if you haven't already. I will be doing a podcast in the next couple of days with a, f with a current RMR footballer, a popular one as well. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you all there.